it's Miss Erica here at the Marie Fleshy Memorial Library and welcome to story time. Now I know that a lot of my friends are getting ready for Halloween. We're decorating houses, getting costumes, and carving jack-o'-lanterns. Also, we start talking about some creepy creatures. Witches, vampires, werewolves, but today I'm going to talk about ghosts. I have two stories about ghosts for you. And here's our first one. Who can boo the loudest? And it was written by Harriet Ziefert. Two ghosts met in the moonlight. Who can boo the loudest? asked the big ghost. I can, said the little one. No, I can, said the big one. Let's have a booing contest, said the little ghost. The one who scares the moon is the winner. The big ghost booed first. He huffed and he puffed and he shook his sheets and he booed a boo that boo. Scared a mouse. You scared a mouse, but not the moon, said the little ghost. Now it's my turn. The little ghost huffed and puffed and shook his sheets and booed a boo that boo scared a dog you scared a dog but not the moon said the big ghost now it's my turn the big ghost huffed and puffed and shook his sheets and booed a boo that boo scared a barn. You scared a barn, but not the moon, said the little ghost. It's my turn again. Wait, said the big ghost. I scared a mouse, but not the moon. You scared a dog, but not the moon. I scared a barn, but not the moon. I think we should boo together. But I want to win said the little ghost. But neither of us can win alone, said the big ghost. So the two ghosts who met in the moonlight held hands. Together they huffed and puffed and shook their sheets and together they booed a boo that boo. Scared the moon. <laughs> the end. Really cute book. Okay, let's get our second book, which is called Ghosts in the House. And it was written by Kazana Koharo. girl who went to live in a big old house at the edge of town. It was a splendid place, but there was one problem. The house was haunted. But the girl wasn't just a girl. She was a witch. She knew how to catch ghosts. How lovely, she said. I hope there are some more. And there were. She continued until she had caught all the ghosts in the house. Then she went to the kitchen and put them all in the washing machine. When they were clean, she hung them 
came out on the clothesline. It was fine weather for drying. After drying, most of them became nice curtains. One of them made a good tablecloth. They were all very useful. The little witch began to feel very tired after her hard work. She knew just what to do with the, the last two ghosts. And they all lived happily ever after. They made great blankets. Very resourceful little witch in this book. I hope you enjoyed my stories. I'd like to tell you that we do have a couple of crafts this week coming up. You can pick them up starting this Saturday, October 24th. We have two. Our first one is a little haunted Halloween house. Now this one, we are giving out some glue dots, but it will need extra glue. And this one here, our little witch's cauldron, really cute. It is all self-adhesive. Okay, you can come in, you can pick up a craft, and you can also reserve one if you would like to, if you want us to put one aside. I hope that you enjoyed my stories today, and I hope you'll come in to get a Halloween craft. And please, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.